Well, good evening. Today is Wednesday, May 11th, 2022, and the Board of Appeals is now in session. All right, so I'm calling the meeting to order, and uh, I'd like to uh, recognize Phil Cook, who is our alternate, who is now um, sitting in for Gary Young, who is not able to make the meeting this evening. So looking at our agenda, this is our uh, annual election of officers. And so um, I'd like to uh, make, I'd like to hear a motion uh, for the position of chair. Uh, I move to nominate Carol Reed to <coughs> renew her position as chair of the Board of Appeals. Oh, thank you, Erin. Uh, do I have a second? Second. Okay, all those in favor, are there any other nominations? <laughs> okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, that motion passes. Five zero. Um, and now I would like to make a motion to nominate the position of vice chair for the Board of Appeals, and I'd like to nominate Aaron Kotak. May I have a second? Second. Okay. Are there any other nominations? No. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. The motion passes five zero. Welcome again. Aaron, and to the vice chair position. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, moving on to the next item on the agenda, we have the approval of our minutes from last month, which is April 21st, 2022. And these were sent out in your packet ahead of time, and that was with the Jolly Shows, uh, and it was actually the Sun that presented uh, due to the unfortunate passing of Mr. Jolly due to COVID over the last two years. Okay. This was a special exception for the amendments. Can I get a motion to pass the uh, April minutes? I make a motion that we pass the uh, April 21st, 2022 minutes. And can I have a second? Second. Is there any discussion on the minutes themselves? Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, the, the motion to uh, approve the minutes from April 2022 does pass. Okay. Now we're at the portion of the public hearing, and I would, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just introduce the case, and then I'll ask uh, Ms. Jasmine Forbes to provide us some additional information. So before the board tonight, we have BOA, uh, it's a special exception amendment, and it's BOA 9296-2022. It's Truck and Auto Inc. And it's an amendment to the special exception uh, that we passed last year. It was BOA 8798-2021 for auto repair at 5 Brooks Avenue in the CBD. It's the Central Business District Zone. And uh, Jasmine, would you uh, like to provide us some additional information? Good evening. Um, so this is a public meeting on Board of Appeals case BOA-9296-2022. I amend special exception BOA dash 8798-2021. Uh, given the minor nature of the proposed amendment, no public hearing is required for this amendment to a special exception. Uh, so from background, the petition requests an amendment to special exception BOA-8798-2021 uh, for an auto repair use at Five Brooks Avenue. You can see it on the area on the screen. Uh, the property is uh, highlighted in blue. The subject property is zone CBD, Central Business District, uh, pursuant to section 24-160F2C8 of the city zoning ordinance. All new automobile, uh, uh, motorcycle, marine, and truck repair and services require special exception, uh, despite the fact that the property previously operated as an auto re uh, repair shop. Uh, the applicant received a special exception for the auto use on April 14th of 2021. And the applicant's requesting an amendment to the special exception to revise uh, building elevations. And here tonight, uh, representing the applicant is the project mem uh, manager, Audrey uh, Hollamillo. Hollamillo, Hall Hall sorry, okay. apology, uh, who will do the presentation this evening. Okay, so Audrey, before we start, um, I'm going to go ahead and swear you in as a witness. And do you solemnly swear and affirm under the penalties of perjury that the testimony that you're about to give in this matter shall be the truth and nothing but the truth? I do. Okay, thank you. Thank Please you. proceed. Hi, board members. Thank you for seeing us this evening for this um, revision to the original uh, approval of our uh, original case. We are just proposing 
uh, two minor changes to the windows on the second story elevation uh, to what was originally approved as single hung. If you can see on the west elevation where it says approved, we had originally had two off-centered windows. Um, with the design and also with some product or shortages that we're all experiencing in the construction trade, we, fa we found it easier to go ahead and do three double, and then also the architect made a suggestion to bring natural light into the mezzanine area by going ahead and putting that double um, window into the front, towards the front of the building, then giving us natural light inside, and then keep, instead of having those two singles, we went ahead and just created two doubles. And that's pretty much all we're asking for. And um, do you want to just walk us through any of the other diagrams here, just to refresh the board maybe on, I, I do remember the case, but sure, you know, sure. we have uh, Phil who's uh, new to the board too. Sure, so, not at and all. And Dave, yes. So the, the building itself originally was an auto service, single story. Um, uh, the current owner had purchased it to continue doing the auto service, but he is uh, proposing to repair a larger vans like the delivery vans for Amazon uh, something that requires a 15 foot height clearance so at that time we had a uh, double bays so we had two bays now we're making the two bays into one with the larger garage door and um, we're creating a second story to make the mezzanine area in the front and then making the bay area much taller to accommodate the new type of vehicles that he will be repairing. He's gonna continue to do the site repairs as we had originally approved in the first um, approval back in 2021. Uh, site work will be done. Uh, we had hired an attorney just recently, Sean Patrick Hughes, to then come and propose and take away some conditions, which was the condition of having the additional owners approved. We had been strenuously uh, pursuing the other owners to get approval or some kind of agreement for not only maintenance of the alleys, but also to get an actual agreement of the maintenance agreement and um, having an approval of doing the work. We were unable to locate the one, uh, two out of the three owners because we have a lot in the back that's owned by a separate entity and two lots next to us that are owned by one entity, but they, they're operating in separate with one being, uh, I guess it's an existing building that's kind of abandoned, but there's a property manager that's taking over and then there, excuse me, then there's the uh, empty lot. So we had um, sent letters, various letters, and finally we ended up hiring Mr. Hughes, who then asked, for, for the board to remove the condition of requiring us to have that approval. When we received it, the only condition that came up was that we would have to provide a sign uh, basically saying private property, do no drive through and no parking, which we're doing that and we'll be submitting a sign permit to the city for that. Wow, that's great. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. it, it worked out. It really worked out. I mean, it, it took us a lot of time to try to locate the owners. It took us a lot of time and letters and over again FedEx, but now that you guys removed that condition, it's helped Mr. Ba tremendously to move forward in this project. So we're currently in for permitting. So we're hoping that we're we're just moving right along. That the only obstacle that we're facing is the, you know, the supply chain. But besides that, uh, contractors are being put together. Uh, the permitting set is currently in for design. Once you guys review and approve this amendment, then I'm able to change and update those drawings so that it reflects today's changes. Okay, well, that's great. Thank you. Well, um, do we have any uh, additional questions from the board itself? Um, there. Yeah, it actually, in the image we're looking at right now, when we're looking at the south elevation, it does look like the design of the garage um, door is changing and maybe it's even a little bit larger than it was before? Um, this was what was approved in the last, um, in 2021 in yep. April. Mm -hmm. So yes, it went height wise, we went up to accommodate the clearance for the 14 feet. Uh -huh. And, and then we went ahead with wise to accommodate two trucks side by side entering in the rear. 
Right. So but what, what I'm actually is looking at actually is the, the difference between the, appro uh, the approved um, elevation and the proposed. It does look like that, and maybe it's just the drawing playing tricks in my eyes, but it does look like the design and the, and the height of the garage door in the proposed is slightly different than it was as approved. I'm going to put my glasses on real quick. <laughs> That's going to be something I need to make sure. Um, as far as the height is concerned, I'm looking at, yeah, it's the height did not change. Okay. Yeah, the height did not change. The only thing that changed is that we had or originally proposed uh, a garage door, door with windows in it to give us natural light coming in. And because it wasn't available, what we're doing now is we're having to just get a regular roll-up uh, garage door. Got it. Um, and then the second question, you, you talked about a sign for no drive-through, no pass-through. Is there, and I just probably need to refresh my memory, is there sure. fencing between the properties? That would prevent that also, or it's only going to be a sign to No, out? there's no fencing, but there's going to be, um, we do have a little bit, I wish we had the site plan so that I could show you. Um, we're going to have a little bit of an elevation change because of drainage issues. Okay, so you might not really get to see it here in the site plan. Right where that line is right now, there's some grass there. What we're going to do is we're, when we do the site work, we're going to go ahead and clear that grass out mm -hmm. and then we're, there's going to be a little bit of a dip there so it's not like cars are going to be able to come up and then go up that dip without having to a challenge or slowing down mm -hmm. and not and not only that but we're we're also utilizing the side that west elevation side of the building as parking mm -hmm. which is parallel parking for any any other you know clients and things like that or overage so um, outside of having the, the one sign coming towards uh, Old Frederick in the back, mm -hmm. and then we're going to have another sign entering the driveway off of Brooks just to let people know, but it won't be as easy for them to come once we are occupied and we're up and running. Okay, thank you. Because right now, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but it's it's been used quite often by both the... Uh, vans from behind us. I think it's Verizon. Um, and then every time I'm there, whether I'm walking through with a contractor or not, I, I'm constantly, I have to park my car in the middle of the driveway, <laughs> which I do on purpose because if not, it's just through way, constant, you know, local traffic trying to cut from, from old Frederick down to Brooks and vice versa to 355. Right. So we're trying to prevent that. We're, it's going to be a hit or miss, but I'm hoping that the residents, everybody kind of, we, we come together and they'll, they'll be more respectful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Yes. Um, a few questions. On, uh, on the page for AA, which is the one I think we've been looking at, um, in the original photograph, there's a structure in between the two garage doors. Uh, it, which is not represented in your elevation. I understand that. Is that structure still there, or is it moved, or what? What, what is that? So, in it was, according to the um, previous owner, that was a lift, and the owner left the pad. The lift was taken off because I don't think it was ever permitted, and he must have gotten um, some kind of code violation. So the pad ended up staying. So the structure of the pad is there we're proposing removing it all together in our site work permit. So so we can even out when we asphalt and repave the property, that'll be gone. That's okay. not gonna be there. Okay. And while we've been talking, I've been looking at a street view on Google Maps of the property. Uh, and obviously there's the driveway that comes off of uh, South Frederick. Yes. Uh, is, is that the primary entrance that, 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 that you want uh, people to use? Uh, just depends on for any like uh, regular automobiles, we don't have a, you know, we're okay with them using the driveway coming off of Brooks, but overall in the end, I think that there's a weight restriction on that old Frederick auxiliary road 
So it just depends on the type of truck that we're fixing. If it's just a Amazon van, then they can come through Brooks. But if it's, uh, for instance, like uh, either, I'm not gonna say a dump truck or something as height equivalent to a dump truck or a utility van, then we would probably have them come from Old Frederick, just depending on the traffic. Okay. And last question, on that grass strip between the two uh, mm -hmm. buildings, uh, Currently, or at least in the at the time the uh, Google Street View was taken, there appears to be uh, posts up yeah. and down uh, up and down that. When 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 you do the change you're talking about, um, are are you going to maintain those, or is it really just going to be two separately elevated? So we're going to take advantage of the elevation for drink for stormwater drainage because right now that property. Um, retains a lot of water mm -hmm. so uh, what the civil engineer had proposed was to go ahead and repave it and then do a slope where the water would end up going towards the front towards Brooks because you have there's some kind of retention there there is a sewer on both off of off of Brooks on both that uh, in front of that abandoned property and then you guys um, the city of Gaithersburg just recently redid the, the gutters going all up and down uh, Brooks. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping that we can utilize that for storm water. Is there a concern with that just being a slope without any sort of uh, separator or guard or balustrades or anything that, that uh, uh, it may be dangerous for, for cars that, that might accidentally end up on that slope? Um, I mean, it's not that deep of a, a slope. It's more like a speed bump. It's going to be where, you, yeah, it's it's not something I wouldn't recommend trying to go there on, you know, anywhere above 15 miles an hour. Sure. <laughs> but I definitely think that it's safe enough where your tires will take the impact uh, to be able to just kind, kind of come down. Because we also need to be able to utilize it as a turning radius with some of the trucks. And we needed to take that into consideration with the design. <clears throat> Thank you. You're welcome. Go ahead. Uh, not really a question. I'm just a comment. I'm sure. just glad you, you know, looked at the the cut through because in last year's record it would show that was my main concern. Yeah. Because I've been around here long enough, I know that's been a, a cut through, and it would be a real hindrance to your business operations if it wasn't looked at. So I'm glad oh. you're really, you know, taking a step forward and trying to alleviate that problem well i mean right now the responsibility is at the, on this owner to maintain that um and that's one of the things that unfortunately we were unable to come to some kind of agreement with the other owners we were proposing to do some kind of like alley uh, association so that we all put in a pot and then they were able to then utilize that money for any future maintenance. And because no one else cooperated, um, we need to find ways to deter traffic because it's uh, the responsibility is going to falling main on Mr. Ba to maintain the alley. Sure. Yeah, the trains cause quite a delay sometimes on East Diamond Avenue. Yeah. Right, all right on cue. <laughs> <laughs> we, we see that. And yeah. again, we're hoping that once we're up and operating, right. that the neighbors are a little more respectful and they understand. You know, we become a part of the community. We start repairing uh, our neighbors' cars. And then maybe we just, it, it becomes where we're taking care of our own. I mean, Mr. Ba is currently here already in Gaithersburg. Um, has been operating in Gaithersburg, so he's very familiar. He's uh, part of the community. He lives here, and he's hoping that his neighbors will then, you know, help him out with that kind of issue and and tell their friends. Well, we welcome it around here, so Thank you. don't need vacant properties anymore. Uh, we agree. We're, we have our eye on next door, but they were not budging. So. We'll see. He has that in the future. That's great. And is that a commercial property also that's yes. next door? Okay, mm -hmm. zoned as CBD? Correct. Yeah. Um, and we're hoping that maybe that becomes parking for us in the future. So, since it can't be used for anything else. It used to be a movie theater. My dad ran the movie projector oh. down there. <laughs> you mean the, where the old water building yes. is there? Wow. Interesting. Wow. 
that'd be nice to see a picture of that sometime. Yeah. So, um, okay, so do you have any more questions? No. Right now? Okay. Phil, do you have any questions? Um, yeah, I just want to apologize. I feel bad because I use that as a shortcut all the time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, thank you for being on it. No problem. <laughs> um, just one question. Uh, once you have all the approvals, how long do you anticipate the construction taking? So once we have the approvals, then I will be saving these drawings because I need these drawings in order to update our permit set because our permit set doesn't reflect the new elevation. Um, once that happens, we have a contractor on standby and the owner is seeking funding. And one of the prerequisites from the bank is that he receive permit set. So the permit right now is the highest priority to get it through the building department and then in the hands of the owner so that the bank can go ahead and give release funding for him. And we have a contractor on standby. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So, um, could you, um, Jasmine, could you bring up the, the uh, modification of the west and the south building elevations again? That might have even been the first picture there, too. The no, right there, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I see, okay. So, um, I was just, uh, I just wanted to um, take a look at the pictures again. And so then the purpose of the second store story now is to provide um, the ability to work on uh, taller vehicles. Correct. I just wanted to reconfirm that yes. there. Okay. Okay. And then getting the other pictures and things, or getting the other windows, things like that. Okay. And that, um, you know, I too drove by recently because I go to the shopping center over there by the IHOP. Oh, okay. And um, it's interesting. And But anyway, I drove past and I was like, I'm like going down. I wasn't doing the cut through, <laughs> but I was at the light, kind of looking to the left. <laughs> yeah, I was on my way going south, and I was looking for. I was like, oh, they haven't started yet. You know, it like the year had passed. So thank yes. you for sharing because of the delay and then the um, the ability to move forward now too. Yes. Okay. So I just wanted to say um, thank you for that. I, we, we're all kind of we all live around here, so we're kind of yeah. checking it out. Oh, trust me. If there's anybody eager, it's me to get that building. <laughs> You know, at least under construction, because that's where my job ends. My okay. job ends once I release it to the contractor. Okay. So okay. I'm I'm eager to get it done, and I'm eager to have the ribbon cutting. Okay. You there know, because I want him opened. I want him operating. It's a great story. Yeah. Uh, you know, for the neighborhood and for Mr. Ba, yeah. and um, so we're we're thinking if we start, let's say we get permits in. In review and we could have them in 30 to 45 days that means that it puts us end of October okay. October November okay there you go another so. busy season yeah for the supply chain <laughs> yeah I mean it is but it's also hurting us yeah. you know yeah yeah so we'll hopefully by that time they've unclogged the Panama Canal and the Swiss Canal, and we can have all these, uh, you know, all these um, different uh, ships and shipping and released because we, as a construction as a whole, it's 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 a burden. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. No, you're um, welcome. Thank you. Last round for questions. No. All right. So can I have? And so now the board's going to okay. talk and and um, go to the next step on this tonight. So. Um, I'll ask for a motion to close the record. Oh, move to close the record. Second. I'll second. Okay. All those in favor of closing the record, say aye. 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 Nay. All those in favor or against it, say nay. Okay. Motion to close the record now passes 5-0. Now we're going to move on to the next part of the discussion, which is then to, uh, if there's any questions on the draft resolution that was in your packet, ahead of time and I think we had in, in any further board discussion on on the um, case in front of us no? I mean I'd just say that there's nothing significant or material uh, that's being changed compared to what we discussed and what we proved last time there doesn't seem to be any reason to not allow this to move forward okay thank you any further discussion oh well 100% agree with that okay Phil no. no. Okay. All right. And we are going to. Okay, we did the board discussion. Okay, so let's move forward. I'll need a motion now. You have your sheets in front of you uh, for the resolution. 
Robert? Yeah, sure. I make a motion that the Board of Appeals, based on the findings and conclusions outlined in the draft resolution, approve amendment to special exception application BOA 9296-2022 and adopt resolution BOA 9296-2022 with the three conditions presented. Okay, may I have a second? Second. Okay. Further discussion on the resolution? All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Resolution passes 5-0. So thank you, Audrey, for coming, and, and best wishes on your continuing success in getting the business up and running. And thank you so much. Your opportunity to move on to something else. <laughs> <laughs> Put it to rest. So we're just going to continue with our regular just board sure. business here, and uh, you're welcome to stay, or if you'd like to leave, that's fine, too. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. So uh, from the staff, uh, I guess we'll just go around the room. Eric, do you have anything that you'd like to present this evening? Uh, no, nothing from me. Okay. Uh, Jasmine, is there any th any additional information from the staff this evening? Um, so the only thing I have is the next meeting is going to be on June eighth, and Caroline will be back. <laughs> okay, great, great. Thank you for coming tonight. And John, anything? Okay. All right. From the board itself, any further business that you'd like to discuss? All right. This meeting is now adjourned. Thank you for coming.